Good morning. So we're talking about masks. Well, masks aren't always the fun disguises that come with Halloween costumes. We're talking a lot about different ways we can hide behind our masks. I'm in the prop room. I'm having a lot of fun with some of the stuff I'm finding. I'm looking for certain things and I've come across a few costumes or props that have given me some questions. What's the difference between dressing up for fun and imaginative versus trying to hide behind something versus something that you are? I'm gonna take the earmuffs off. They're really warm though. See, I'm looking for costumes for our Christmas play, the Christmas movie. We don't need a banjo, but we might need crazy, crazy wig. I'm gonna keep that one aside. I think that will come in handy. I'm wearing my Awana shirt. It was something that we would wear on Friday nights when we met. If I were to go to the gas station or the grocery store before, they would see my Awana shirt. They might not know what Awana means, but they see the name like, okay, it's something. If they know that Awana is a club where we learn more about Jesus, they might expect me to behave a certain way. If I'm at the grocery store and I'm getting some last minute cheese puffs and Cool Whip for a game we're playing, and I'm really mean to the checkout person because I'm in a hurry and I have to rush to get to church on time, they might think poorly about Awana and Christians in general. Wearing this tells people, I love God. I'm part of God's team. If I were to wear this lost and found item, I can't because my hair clip is on. It's a little bit small for me. Someone would know which school I go to. The things we wear have reputations. If I were to find a white gown and it's Christmas time, you might think I'm getting ready for the angels. But if I showed you this gown close up, you're like, oh, that's a wedding dress. Someone is going to get married or pretend to be a bride, right? You only wear a wedding dress when you're getting married, usually. And what if I found my graduation gown? A lot of students this year didn't get to wear their graduation gowns and go through a graduation service and ceremony. What we wear tells other people about who we are. If I were to wear a lab coat, you might think I'm a scientist or that I possibly work at a hospital. I think this will be the lab coat for our Christmas play. I don't know, maybe we'll go with the white one. I'm not sure. I had a donkey around here somewhere. Where's my donkey? Here we go. Donkey? If I wore this, I'm not sure what it would tell other people about me other than I'm a little bit weird. Some things aren't meant to be worn in normal everyday life. So I've been thinking about the difference between a costume, a uniform, such as my Awana uniform, or maybe a firefighter's uniform 
firefighters have been really busy in Northern California and Oregon and Washington. Their uniform tells other people what they do, but it also helps protect them. It has special material built into it so that the heat from the fires they're fighting won't hurt them as much. So you have uniforms that you wear for work or your school uniform or your church uniform. And then you have costumes that are just for fun. Say, I wanted to be a mermaid for Halloween. I might put on a mermaid tail and hop around pretending to be a mermaid. But most people would recognize, one, I'm a fish out of water, Two, it's nice, soft, comfy blanket material. I'm not a real mermaid. Shocker, I know. Costumes and uniforms. One tells the world what you do, who you stand with. The other is silly and fun and pretend. We're getting ready for Halloween. We will have a drive-through event with games that you can play from your car. Wear your costumes. Maybe we'll be able to see them through the window or a sky roof if you have it. Whether they're silly or whether they're pretty or whether your costume is of a modern day hero. Maybe you want to grow up to be a firefighter or a scientist or a doctor. Costumes give us a chance to see what it might be like. There's a little bit of power when you put on something make-believe. It's a mask. It's not who you are yet, but when you put on something fancy, you tend, it doesn't really show up very good in the light right there, does it? There's all sorts of lace and pearls and sequins and stuff. When you put on something fancy, you tend to act a little fancier. Maybe you'll talk a little different because you're being fancy. If you put on something dirty and old, you're going to act like things don't matter as much. I have painting clothes for a reason, and it's because I don't have to be as careful when I paint if I'm painting with my painting uniform. Who we are reflects in what we wear. What we wear tells the world who we are. You wear a cheerleader uniform, people are going to assume that you cheer for a sport. Wear a soccer outfit, people are going to assume you play soccer. Now, if I wore a soccer uniform and you saw me, you're like, Miss Elizabeth, what are you doing? You don't play soccer. My sister does. Not me. Be true to who you are. Now, that can be wearing a uniform. That can be having fun and playing with your costumes. I could pretend to be a Roman soldier. Rawr! That's not really who I am. But it can be fun to pretend. I could pretend to be, nothing else is jumping out at me here. Astronaut, space person. They have to go through a lot of training to be able, physical training and mental training to be able to fly into space and work on the space stations and stuff that are up there. 
masks are not always very obvious or visible. But how you present yourself to the world is. Choose your clothing with care. Not just to be the popular kid, although I would imagine it can be kind of fun to be popular, but to show the world that you are a child of God. It's one more way that you can share God's love with others. Wear your Awana shirt, wear your church shirts, wear something crazy so people ask you about it and say, oh, I'm just practicing for the church play. I don't know. Have fun. I'm gonna do more costume things later, but I think this video is going a little bit long. So I'm gonna say, actually I was gonna to try to say goodbye with a donkey accent and I totally lost my train of thought because I'm not sure I can do that. Nope, can't do it. Yeah. See you guys later.